Hey everyone, it's Mr. Adams, and today I'm just going to walk you through real quick on how to get that column alignment, the thing you typically see in a magazine or a newspaper, uh, column alignment for your text. So when you put your stories into your double page spread, you want to make sure you have this column alignment just to make sure that um, it really starts to look like a magazine, something you would see in a magazine, okay? So follow these very simple steps. The first thing you want to do is click on the text tool, this T over here, okay? And the easiest way to go about it is to cr click and drag with your mouse and create a column like this, okay? Now, typically for magazines, you're not going to have a big old block like this. You're going to have two columns at least, okay? So you want to uh, do enough space that you're going to fit all almost the same exact size column and let go click into the text box and stop start typing now my font is not really what I want it to be I want it to be more basic uh, so let's see here if you get like a times let's see times no Arial or Cali Uh, let's see, times. We'll just do happy times. Okay. Um, of course, you want a font that's going to be really easy to read. Okay. And for your mock up or what will eventually be your double page spread, where it says story here, it's going to be where you're going to um, eventually be putting the story you wrote. Okay. So I'm writing the word story over and over again just as a placeholder. And you'll see that because we have created this column already, that the text already has a uh, an alignment similar to what we're looking for. However, if you look at the upper uh, right here, if you look up here, you'll see these three alignment options. And right now, it says our text is aligned to be centered in the box, which right now works. But when I paste in my story and I have my actual words, that may not be the case. So we're going to have to change that alignment. So I'm just writing story over and over again. Okay. Yeah. And you can see right here in this middle sp a spot. Oh, it kind of is my right, but uh, let's see. Uh, so it kind of looks okay right now, but I just want to make sure that after I put in my actual story that this alignment will stay so how you change the alignment to a column alignment is very simple you can either just click on your box your text box okay um, or have it selected like this make sure you have the text tool or highlight it okay you can highlight it by clicking and dragging or hitting control a on your keyboard and if you look to the uh, right over here, you're going to see this backwards P looking symbol. This is actually the universal symbol for paragraph. So if you click this, you're going to get a bunch more uh, alignment options. And the uh, alignment option we really want to use for our stories is this here, this column one. Okay, so you click on it, you see that uh, my text did move a little bit, did shift around. And the reason why we use this column alignment style is because it is the easiest to read we want our magazines to be as user friendly as possible meaning that they're easy to read easy to look at etc okay i also recommend if you're having multiple columns which is probably going to be uh, the case for most folks um you want to make sure that the column that you're the next column you're going to do is exactly the same size etc as this one so if you go to the layer your text layer like i have here okay right click on it hit duplicate layer and now you have two okay boom give it a little space in between right here so we know that these are two separate columns and there you go all right so for your assignment this week you're gonna have to uh, finalize either create either create a mock-up or finalize your double page spread so make sure you have your text in a column alignment of course if you have questions let me know all right bye